New at five, a New York nonprofit donated $1 million to the last three remaining survivors of the Tulsa race massacre. Two News Oklahoma's Naomi Kidd explains how the money will help these families. Karen, I got a chance to talk with the grandson of one of the survivors. He says this money will not only help with their day to day expenses, but will also allow them to do things they've always wanted, like travel. At 108, 107, and 101, the last three remaining survivors of the Tulsa race massacre have seen a lot. A first, though, was this million dollar check presented to Viola Fletcher, Leslie Randall, and Hughes Van Ellis. We're trying to extend their life and make them comfortable at this age. Ike Howard is Viola Fletcher's grandson. He says the money will help in several ways as he takes care of both the wants and needs of these centurions. They want to go and see things. They want to go to historical black colleges. They want to go to different events and do things. Like I said, the mind is still fresh, but the body uh, needs a little adjustment. It was a packed house at the Greenwood Cultural Center Wednesday as family and friends and community members witnessed the donation firsthand. New York nonprofit, the Business for Good Foundation, is behind the big check. Founder Ed Mitson and his wife Lisa said it was important for them to give to the survivors. They were clearly wronged. I don't think there's any argument about that. And the fact that it was 101 years ago shouldn't negate the fact that they, they, you know, they, they were wrong. Mitson told me he simply wanted to brighten their day and make them realize people do care and their struggle mattered. I felt a little bit of frustration that uh, it was so hard for these folks to try to get what obviously I felt like they were entitled to. Mitson says it's the first donation they've made outside of New York. Ike Howard also told me some of that money will be used to help their great-grandchildren through college. I'm Naomi Kitt, 2 News, Oklahoma.